we don't have enough fuel. <laughs> so we have to buy it. I'm afraid we will not reach even the station. We will go to Palyukatetska first. It's up to you. All right. We'll see. It's I think the one hour of riding, one hour and twenty minutes by car, so it will be like two hours by motorbike. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, we should have rented near there, right? Huh? It's very far here. I'm hungry. So we will need a gas this time before traveling to another beach. We, we almost run off the gas, you can feel the yes, So hello guys, Jacob here with another video. Currently we are already on our way to explore another places here in Greece Corfu. We are currently having a breakfast here in the city, the main city. I'm not sure if it's still Kerkira or something. But here we are with a Gwen and Gwen is already getting ready for her breakfast. Mm -hmm. She ordered me this sweet cake something and Gwen doesn't like much sweet things so she has yeah. cheese and ham. So we will just enjoy our breakfast. I have, I have three breakfast and Uba has one breakfast. Yeah, Gwen has three pieces and I have one piece. Equality is important. <laughs> we just finished breakfast with Ben. I still have just uh, one sip of coffee and then we will go on. We are in Paleo Catrizza. So as Gwen was saying, we are here. We decided to leave the scooter right next to the road. And now we have to find a way how we can get there on the beach. So our little guide will get us there. I hope. Gwen just found the way down there, down there, here, by the stairs. Let's see if we are correct. We are already in the beach, but it's crowded. We don't really like it, but it's nice view though. There's nothing like Giala Beach. That's really the most amazing beach ever. Right now we are planning to find another area. So we are in the secluded area in Greece. Uh, it's in like mountainous part, but I'm not sure like where are we going. But we are actually going to Colias Beach, but the map's giving us um, this way. So we'll see. <laughs> beach <laughs> plans changed so much we were able to ride the bike to the mountains to the forest but then we had to continue walking and here we are walking along the farm with the grapes it's actually like a labyrinth because Google Maps has no ways so we are just trying to keep the straight way to the beach the background music is hilarious right now guys we can see a beach but we have no idea how we will get there <laughs> we are lost we guide as well other people and <laughs> 
as you could see guys there was a huge cliff and as the reviews on Google saying the beaches are only accessible by boat you could actually try to climb down there but we like our lives and we don't want to risk it so we will pick another beach again and let's see how it will end I guess I will show you uh, another shot once we can really be on the certain beach so here we are guys we already parked the motorbike we paid for the parking so there is no coming back I guess this time we are going to the public beach which is very well known so it means there will be so many people which is not that what we were looking for but it's already very hot and we want to go somewhere to the water and here we are on the huge beach with so many people screaming children it's not going to be nice it's not going to be nice we found the quiet corner of the beach here it's still shadow it's not really hot here the sea is right in front of us Gwen is going to eat her snack and I'm going to explore the underwater so many snorkeling people here so let's see if something interesting we can find here I'm always hoping like those boats which are coming with tourists here and people are making pictures from the boat and some of them accidentally drop the phones or wallet or something that's what I'm looking for underwater so I haven't found anything yet here but maybe it was maybe it's my lucky day today let's see As you could see, it's not really bad, like underwater, I could see like many fishes and many fishes, the plants, the structure of the reef, it's really nice, but now we are, now I'm back on the ground here with Gwen, and what happened, here arrived this little boat, canteen boat, where people can really come and buy the snacks, drinks, anything. And um, people are really coming still. So for now guys we are done on this Rovenia beach. Gwen is dressing up. Gwen did not even try the water. But right now we are thinking about trying to find another beach. Or going for the lunch now. We will see where our scooter will lead us. <laughs> Finally, from hopping to different beaches, we are in Gordius Agius, and this is actually very nice as well. It's like um, full of people, but it's understandable because the beach is really nice. It's a sandy beach, and look, there are so many tourists. And this time we are planning to find a restaurant where we can eat our lunch since it's already 2.50 p.m. and we're both hungry. And after eating we can swim and we will show you the area. So here we are in 
another Greek restaurant which Gwen picked. We ordered pork and chicken. So we will see how it looks like. Gwen is very hungry and not in the mood, she said. Right. If the woman is angry, there is only one solution. You have to make her tummy full and then she will be fine again. It's an advice for all of you guys from me. I ordered chicken souvlaki. Mm. It actually looks like grease taco, but it's not taco, it's souvlaki. Very nice. Delicious. So much, so much. After a couple of those days, I found out or I noticed in the Greece, in the restaurants or in these little fast foods, it's most of the time the men or boys are waiters and the women and girls are the chefs, like cooking the foods. And it's really like in most of those, most of those restaurants you can really see. So I'm really asking myself if women in Greece are better chefs and cooks than men <laughs> and as I can say most of those women were preparing meals for us and those meals, meals were delicious so I guess it's really true good job Greece woman Thus, here we are already on the beach it's sandy beach unfortunately why I don't like sandy beaches the sand will get everywhere in your body <laughs> and actually it's also very hot for me, I cannot even step on that with barefoot, it's very hot, but some people are just laying on there. For me, I would be already being fried or roasted. How do you like sandy beaches? Um, I like it, but I hate it when my feet is wet, because it will like paste it in your feet and in your skin. Yeah. So that's why we are trying to go the air at the back. Hoping there will be some stones and it will be more comfortable. But still, this Agio beach is one of the longest beaches here in Corfu Island. Uh, very well known, that's why it's so many people here. And now we are trying to avoid those crowded beaches walking here this is not really nice place for us with Glen you can see so many people like it here but we will still give it a chance even the beach is not that nice underwater could be amazing so let's get under the water the water is amazing it's not hot and not even cold something in between This beach was not really nice, not even under the water. You could see that dead plants, that dead algae everywhere. There were a couple of fishes around that reef, but still, I'm disappointed about this, about this beach. And right here is the reason <coughs> why I hate sandy beaches but here is the solution behind there are showers we will just take a shower and we will be clean for now guys we are done with this Agio beach and we are thinking if we will try to find one more or we will return to our city we will see it will be a surprise for you so as you can see guys we did not go to any other beach. We went home because we did not find any good beach there. 
So right now we are going to return the scooter to the return store and then we are planning to visit a restaurant where they make like a authentic Italian or Napoleon pizza. It will be first time for Gwendy to taste that pizza. After I experienced pizza in the Philippines and Filipino saying that's the most delicious pizza, I really I was questioning myself how come it's not even tasty. So we will see what will be Gwen's impressions about this and if it will be good. For sure it will. And here we are guys, we will say goodbye to our friend which was with us for the last three days, helping us to travel safely around the island of Corfu. Was it yeah. good friend? Yeah. Reliable? Yeah. We will see, maybe sometime next time. And here we are guys, already in front of that restaurant. I want to go and taste the real pizza. Gwen is already choosing from the menu. So let's go inside and check what they have. Gwen pick the table here next to the flowers. Flower wants to sit next to flowers. So this is actually a nature lover restaurant. There are flowers and what's more amazing is there is a bunch of grapes. At the back there guys, I'm not sure if you can see that there is a fireplace where they bake this hilarious pizza. Gwen chose quattro formaggi which is like four kinds of cheese and I have this bacon chicken so let's try we are already done eating with Gwen it was delicious and one thing I want to share with you guys if you cannot see that fireplace in the pizza restaurant and you are not sure and they are telling you the pizza was done by the fireplace you will know if the pizza is done within three or four minutes because we ordered the pizza and it was on our table in earlier than five minutes so you can know it also has the smell of the fire and smoke on the pizza so it was really delicious we really enjoyed the stay once you are in Benitez it's right there it's called La Pergola recommended and right now we moved here and when we went for window shopping or shopping i'm not sure so we will see what gwen will bring or will not bring what did you buy guapa window shopping window <laughs> shopping so as i said guys window shopping <laughs> so guys and here we are after the dinner with gwen i decided to have a little swim Gwen did not want it to join me to swim on this platform she is waiting there at the bench so thank you guys if you finished watching to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed if you did you can check also our other videos on our channel you can hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for the more amazing videos of ours